Imagine this scenario. It's a hot day, and you reach for your favorite can of soda. It's fizzy, it's sweet, and it's refreshing. But have you ever stopped to ponder what happens to your body when you drink soda every day? In our modern world, soda has become a regular accompaniment to our meals, a staple at social gatherings, a refreshing pick-me-up on a hot day. It's bubbly, it's satisfying, and let's face it, it's delicious. But behind the delightful fizz and the alluring sweetness, there's a less appetizing reality that most of us prefer not to think about. The effects of daily soda consumption on our health can be quite significant and not in a good way. From weight gain and obesity to heart disease and tooth decay, the list of potential health risks is long and concerning. Yet, despite these alarming facts, soda remains a popular beverage choice for many. So, what exactly happens to our bodies when we regularly indulge in this carbonated concoction? What are the short-term and long-term effects of this seemingly innocent habit? Now let's delve into the science behind what happens inside your body when you indulge in that daily can of soda. But before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. First, let's talk about sugar. A typical 12-ounce can of soda contains about 39 grams of sugar. That's equivalent to about 9 and 3 quarters teaspoons. Imagine this. Each time you drink a can of soda, you're essentially ingesting nearly 10 teaspoons of sugar. It's no wonder that soda consumption is often linked to weight gain and obesity. This is not just hearsay. Numerous scientific studies back these claims. For instance, a study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found a strong correlation between increased soda consumption and a higher risk of obesity. The damage doesn't stop at weight gain. The high sugar content in soda can also lead to type 2 diabetes. How does this happen? Well, consuming large amounts of sugar causes your blood sugar levels to spike. Over time, these spikes can lead your body to become resistant to insulin, the hormone that regulates blood sugar. This insulin resistance is a precursor to type 2 diabetes. Moreover, the sugar in soda doesn't just affect your blood sugar levels. It also impacts your triglycerides and cholesterol. Triglycerides are a type of fat found in your blood, and high levels of triglycerides combined with high levels of low-density lipoprotein, the bad cholesterol, or low levels of high-density lipoprotein, the good cholesterol, can increase your risk of heart disease. The connection between soda and heart disease is well documented. A study published in the journal Circulation found that people who drink soda daily have a 20% higher risk of heart disease than those who do not consume soda regularly. But soda's impact on your health extends beyond just your heart. Its high sugar content can also increase your risk of metabolic disorders. Metabolic syndrome, a cluster of conditions including high blood sugar, excessive belly fat, high blood pressure, and abnormal cholesterol or triglyceride levels, can raise your risk of heart disease, stroke, and type 2 diabetes. So, gulping down that can of soda is like swallowing nearly 10 teaspoons of sugar at once. Think about that. Out. Now let's turn our attention to the acid content in soda. You see, soda isn't just a sweet treat, it's also a bubbling concoction of acids that can wreak havoc on your body. Let's first talk about your teeth. They're the first line of defense in your body, breaking down food and starting the digestion process. But the high acid content in soda can lead to tooth decay, enamel erosion, and gum disease. It's like a Trojan horse, entering your body with a sweet facade, then unleashing its corrosive forces. According to a study published in the Journal of Dentistry, regular consumption of soda can lead to significant dental damage, similar to the effects seen in long-term drug users. But the acidic onslaught doesn't stop at your mouth. Once you swallow that fizzy beverage, it continues its journey down your digestive tract. Here, it can irritate the stomach lining, especially for those with digestive issues. Picture this. Your stomach, a delicate balance of acids and enzymes thrown into chaos by the additional acid from the soda. This can lead to discomfort, indigestion, and in severe cases, gastric ulcers. A study in the World Journal of Gastroenterology found a strong correlation between soda consumption and gastritis, an inflammation of the stomach lining. So the next time you reach for a can of soda, remember the acidic truth. This seemingly innocent beverage is a cocktail of sugars and acids that can cause significant harm to your body, from your teeth to your tummy. And while the damage may not be visible immediately, over time, these effects can accumulate, leading to serious health issues. It seems that soda doesn't just satisfy your sweet tooth, it could be damaging it too. But what about diet sodas? They don't have sugar, so they must be better, right? It's tempting to think that this might be the case, but let's dive a bit deeper into what diet sodas are really made of. 
The key difference between regular and diet sodas lies in their sweeteners. While regular sodas use sugar, diet versions often use artificial sweeteners which can have their own set of health implications. Now these artificial sweeteners might not be packing the caloric punch that sugar does, but they're not exactly harmless either. Research has pointed out potential negative effects on gut health and glycemic control. These sweeteners can disrupt the balance of our gut microbiome, the community of trillions of bacteria living inside our digestive system. A balanced gut microbiome is crucial for digestion, immunity, and overall health. Moreover, these artificial sweeteners can also play tricks on our bodies. They can confuse our metabolic responses, leading to an increase in insulin production, and potentially contributing to the development of type 2 diabetes. It's a bit like a wolf in sheep's clothing. Diet sodas might appear to be the healthier choice, but they could still be contributing to some serious health issues. So, while diet sodas might seem like a tempting alternative to their sugar-laden counterparts, they are far from a perfect solution. They might not have the sugar, but they certainly come with their own set of potential health risks. So, it seems diet sodas are not the silver bullet they appear to be. So what's the takeaway from all this? Drinking soda every day can lead to weight gain, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and even tooth decay due to its high sugar and acid content. Even diet sodas are not guilt-free, as they can negatively impact gut health and glycemic control. The good news? You have the power to make healthier choices. Next time you're thirsty, consider reaching for spring water, herbal tea, or a freshly squeezed juice. Your body will thank you. If you found this video useful, don't forget to leave a comment below. And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video, and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to give up alcohol, watch the video on your screen next. Finally, remember to use our calorie and protein calculator in the description below to kickstart and track your fitness journey. It can be your companion and accountability partner on your journey to better health. And remember, knowledge is the first step to making healthier choices.